Well, hello, everybody. Don't mind me. I was just uh, kicking some ass. And uh, I don't know why I loaded into here, because I already did this boss fight. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get through this speech check. Uh, you actually need, I think, like 75 speech. No, you need 100 speech to get through this. Uh, oh, uh, that, that wasn't my intention, but, okay, we just knocked him down anyway, and we just, we just killed him. Okay, well, there, there we go. We just killed him. Uh, oh, is he, wait, what? Uh, okay, now, <laughs> now he's running away. Um, okay, that was strange, to say the least. I think it's because my stats are maxed out, um, and so that happened. Uh, oh, now, now, now he is here. Okay, um, now, now he is dead, and we are happy. Okay, um, we did, we did, we don't even need that. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got our, uh, as you can see, we've got our max stats on. Um, but anyway, um, welcome to the podcast episode. Um, I, like I said, I don't know why I loaded into here. Um, I was getting ready to film and I was loaded into this as my save. So now we're going to have to pass through all this. Um, hold that thought, General. I want to introduce you to some friends. And then these guys just come in and take everything out. But yeah, so I wanted to talk about, uh, uh, security trials are very sincere. Yeah, let's just, let's just go ahead and do that, shall we? But yeah, so, um, <laughs> as they just all get taken out. But uh, I want to talk about some things that are going to be happening with the channel in advance. Um, instead of just waiting until the day of. Um, but basically, I'm going out of town again for uh, my cancer treatment. And uh, so I'm going to be gone for a few days. I'm going to be gone from July 7th through the 12th. And uh, everything's fine. You know, as I've said before, all of my VHL, which is the type of cancer I have, otherwise known as von Hippelinda disease, all of the tumors and things were caught early. And with me being on the Wella rig, I don't have to really worry about the tumors growing. If anything, they're just uh, shrinking right now. But July 7th through 12th, I'll be gone. I'll be getting back the night of the 12th. So you shouldn't expect any videos except for a Yu-Gi-Oh! retrospective um, that I am currently working on that I should have done before I leave and then I'm going to set as a premiere to go up um, once like I'm, I'm already out of town and ready to go. So I will have a video set to go live while I am gone, um, but I also won't have videos for a few days um, after that because I'm going to be gone. Um, so I just ask that uh, you please be patient. And I really appreciate all the love and support that everyone has been showing um, because, you know, we're, we're getting really close to 800 subs and uh, I definitely don't want to uh, ruin that in any way. And uh, other than that, I mean, I feel like life is going good. I do. Um, I, I, feel, I feel like I'm kind of jaded right now, um, which I guess I should also say it's the 4th of July, which I guess is not uh, a good day to feel jaded. Happy 4th of July to you, by the way, if you celebrate it. But I suppose I, I feel a little bit jaded because uh, I'm still on medical leave from my full-time job. But as I mentioned in, I believe it was the first episode of this podcast, um, that I don't um, have health insurance because I'm technically on medical leave. So it's that's probably been the toughest part is like just trying to find something new in my field in case my job doesn't take me back um, because of like a buyout that's going on and things like that that I'm just not going to get into. Um, so I want to have some other full-time job in the works. Um, that I can, I can fall back on. It was actually interesting because after I initially went on medical leave, I actually tried to get a job at a radio station uh, here in my town. And I would have been the production manager at this like small ass radio station. And I don't know why, but the guy who was the 
general manager. One, he wasn't there every day, which was like, okay, whatever. This is like a side gig for him. And then number two, he wouldn't come straight out and say that it was a salaried position, even though it was a fucking salaried position. Like, I remember asking him a question about something, right? And he says, well, you know, whether you work three hours or nine hours, you're still going to get paid for eight hours. So I'm like, so it's salary. And then finally, after like a week of going back and forth, he goes, it's it's basically salary. And I'm like, why the fuck did you just not tell me that in the first place? I don't know if he was just trying to get me in the door or what, but it was really sus. Because I'm like, why don't you just tell me from the get-go that it's salary? It's not like that's a bad thing. Um, there wasn't any... Um, uh, would you like to let us say prior to the who day of yes okay um it's not like the the job was bad it was bad though in regard to the fact that um what do you call it that there was no health insurance and that was due to the fact that they didn't have enough employees uh like they they had less than five employees so they couldn't give health benefits um, like HSA cards and shit like that to people because um, there we go <laughs> because they didn't have enough employees and so maybe that's why he was kind of going in a roundabout way talking about like whether I would be paid salary or not I don't know it was um, a really weird time to say the least I don't uh I don't know why uh, he was all weird about it. I also, too, want to... Um, why is all this on? Oh, that's right, because I have the perk that shows where everything is on on my board. Um, well, um, we have so many places that we can go to. You know what? Let's just start here, and let's just walk. Let's just keep moving forward. We're going to be like Aaron Yeager and just keep moving forward. Um... But yeah, I I still feel like I'm trying to find something. I don't um, I don't really want to be working this part time job. Uh, you know, I'm I'm very grateful for it, but it's also not in my field of study that I went to school for. So to me, it feels almost somewhat pointless that I'm working a job that was the same part time job that I worked at before I got my full time job uh, in my field of study which is um, communications, but specifically radio and television production. So it's, it's, it's a really weird time, I think, to say the least. And with my birthday coming up in uh, October, October 4th to be exact, it's, um, it's going to be great. And at the same time, I feel like it's going to be rough because October 19th is the day that uh, I was put on medical leave. And ever since that day, uh, I've had this sneaking suspicion that it hasn't been medical leave, if that makes sense. Like, even though I went through all the hoops and things to be put on medical leave, the fact that they still haven't brought me back and now the buyout is going on makes me feel like that they're, like, actually wanting to fire me. Um, and there was a lot of politics that went on in this workplace. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to deny that. Um, oh, hello. Um, but I'm also not going to name names because you just don't do that for a workplace. So, but, uh, it's, it's something to keep in mind, I suppose. Um, but what I do know is that I, I want to do what makes me happy. Um, and I feel like eventually I will find that, hopefully, um, but more than anything, I think I just want to get through these doctor appointments and all of this stuff because that, more than anything, is is always really tough, um, especially being gone for multiple days, okay? Just uh, suddenly get the kill there, bro. Um, but, uh, but yeah, once I kind of get through those appointments, then things, I feel, get easier because um, I'm not having to worry about... Eh, I'm not having to worry about these globe flies or whatever. Um, there we go. 
good lord, he went flying. Um, I'm not having to worry about, like, catching a cold or anything like that. Um, and it's, it's like, it's always hard to, like, like, my parents are, are really excited because they want to see how much the tumors have shrunk and stuff, and at the same time, I'm just like, no, I'd really rather not go. <laughs> I w- kind of wish that the, um, what do you call it, the appointments actually were, like, further out, because I really want to play live alive. Like, I really want to play that, and I wish I had that to play while I was at my doctor appointments, because, I mean, I'm going to be gone for five days. Two of those days are going to be scans of, like, the brain and spine and all that. So that's going to total out to, like, three hours between two days, like 45 minutes one day, and then, like, probably two and a half, three hours the next time or the next day. Um, And so I I wish I had, like, Live Alive to play, because that that would really make the time fly by, which is a really good game, I might add. It's, It's actually pretty solid from what I've played at the demo. Um, but yeah, I'm hanging in there. I feel like the channel's doing good. You know, every channel has its, uh, ups and downs. Um, you know, every channel kind of has its ebbs and flows. And, you know, unfortunately for me, I really, I really haven't had any help from other people besides, um, oh, Sarah the Beat, um, besides Capital G a few years ago and MCO40 several years ago. Um, and yet I'm the one that put together MCO40's outro. I asked for a shout out and he agreed to give it to me and he just never did that. So I feel like I got kind of used. Um, but I mean, if, if that's what happened, then that's what happened. I, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt and say that that's not what happened, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe Robbie just used me for my editing skills. I, I really don't know. But did we just end up in good springs? I don't even know where we are. I'm just walking. Yeah, we ended up in Good Springs. Oh, well, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so if you ever watch Robbie Cole's outro, I'm, I'm the one that made it. I don't know why the volume's so low on it. That's something on his end, not mine. Um, but <sighs> I, I wish that he would give me a shout out because I, I would like to get my channel to 1,000 subs. Speaking of that, uh, and I think I'll end on this. Um... I'm considering putting my cash app in the description of all my videos, not like as a way to say, hey, you should give me money, but just as a way of like, hey, if you want to help support the channel, you can. But at the same time, like you would never have to do that. Like I'm not going to put content aside for people that just donate to the channel because anything that gets donated to the channel, I'm going to put back into the channel. So like if someone donates, if someone sends me $50 on my cash app, I would put that $50 back into the channel, whether it be getting a better mic or a better webcam or, you know, anything like that. Um, so that that's sort of the idea behind it, because I wouldn't mind YouTube being a side hustle at the same time. Like I do this for fun. Um, and even if I hit a thousand subs, like, yes, I would put ads on my videos, but I, I know damn well that Konami's not going to, like, you know, give me any kind of contract or anything. Like, I, I wouldn't expect that. You know, it's it's not something that I would ever have to expect, because I know it wouldn't happen. So. Ooh. What do we have here? So. But, good lord. Okay, well, she got robbed. Ooh. But, yeah, and we beat the game. Um you couldn't tell look we uh we beat the game and uh and now we just kind of do whatever we want but yeah so i don't know i feel that uh overall though life is good and um you know i i I don't really feel like i'd change it for anything I feel that um, there's there's a lot of things that could be worse, um, and at the same time, you know, it's it's good to to know that I've got this to just you know dick around with and have fun, even if other people don't want to support me. And I get it. Like a lot of these guys, they grind it up. They're not just going to give out help willy nilly. At the same time, I, I do feel that, uh, what the hell? <laughs> At the same time, I do feel like a lot of these, uh, 
Yugi tours just they aren't real. And I get it, like they're on that grind, they're going to put their best foot forward to get the most amount of advertisement money that they can and get as many sponsorships and Konami deals that they can. But that's just not me. Like it's really not. I've seen too much fuckery and bullshittery in the world of corporate America to to just see through the bullshit. And if that's what they want to do, by all means they can do it, but that's that's just never going to be me. Yeah, I may one day have ads on the channel, but I'm never going to be someone who is not 100% just blunt and honest. And I feel like that's what gives my channel a bit of popularity, too, is the fact that... Uh, anyway. Um, I, uh, I feel that that's what gives my channel a, a... Not a popularity, but an audience, because people see me as a brash dick, as someone that's blunt, tries to be uh, comical... And at the same time, um, it's just honest. Like I'm, I'm not gonna bullshit you. You know, Master Duel is a dog shit game, and I'm, I'm not going to ever lie to you about that. Okay, Death Claw, please die, please die, please die. Uh, please die. I, I've shot you in the head like 50 times, Nani. No, 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 no. Whew. And on that note, I think we're gonna end it there, <laughs> guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.